Network. Peace. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's your girl, girl. Miss Spicy. Spicy, host of Spicy Conversations. Join me every Thursday night. Every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Spreaker.com for some late night talk. I hope you're ready. You're ready. Spicy Conversations. The sleeper pick, the guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Footballsportsapp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video, download for free this fall, and register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS again. Football sports app dot com. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Brought to you by football sports app dot com. The first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to get in the game. Yeah. Lil John them. That might be one of the hardest beats of all time, man. I always talk about these these hard beats. Um, that Bone Crusher beat, Never Scared. This one right here is tight as hell. There's been a lot of tremendous dynamic beats of all times, but this one right here might be in the top five. So that bass. Uh-huh. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Let's get back on track here, man. Uh, So once again, footballsportsapp.com brings you the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, You can still become an affiliate um, by filling out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. Once again, that's the footballsportsapp.com. Speaking of uh, signing up for stuff, man, we have, or before the show started, we had two spots left. In this week's DraftKings Fantasy Football Weekly Challenge through the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, we signed up, or we we set it up for 25 people this week. Um, up like eight spots. I think last week we had six spots, so uh, nine spots or whatever. And so we upped it this week. So you still got time if you email me. Well, first of all, stop. If you don't have a DraftKings account, first of all, we ask that you have a DraftKings account created through the Doug Stewart Show uh, website or the Doug Stewart Show app. All right, there's a DraftKings link slash banner on the website and on the app. Click that to create your account. All right, once you create your account, uh, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com and in the subject line put DraftKings and we'll send you out an invite 
Uh, we got to get it done here fairly soon because tonight there's a Thursday night game. So if you want to get down with the uh, the weekly fantasy football challenge with the Doug Stewart Show on DraftKings, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com with your uh, with with the your account created at the Doug Stewart Show website or app. I know that was a lot, but y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> back in 2003, we're throwing it back to 2003. Back in 2003, um, this quote was uttered: "Where do buffalo wings come from? Chickens." Or buffaloes. You know who uttered that that phrase? Or that question? That was from Jessica Simpson on her Newlyweds reality show. And from what I remember about that that quote, um, she was serious as hell. She <laughs> This chick says, Where do buffalo wings come from? Chickens or buffaloes? Clearly letting you know that if it were not for her good looks, her quote-unquote good looks, um, I don't know. She probably would have been, I don't know, I don't know whatever she would be doing, but she definitely wouldn't be at the point in her life where she's at because clearly she's dumb as a bag of rocks. Bless her heart. What else happened in 2003? Oh, that was the year Madonna kissed Britney Spears at the at the uh, VMAs. Uh, I didn't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> um, oh, man, and that year John Ritter died. Sudden death at the age of 54. Uh, John Ritter played the great Jack uh, Tripper on um, Three's Company. Damn, that doesn't seem like it was that long ago when Jack Tripper died. 2003? Jeez, that's been 13 years ago. He's been gone for a minute. Uh, rest in peace to the great John Ritter. Used to love uh, Three's Company. Uh, so we got some other stuff we'll talk about throughout today's show as well. Let me read some of your messages in the chat room. From Chuchi crying at the third game, he says, hashtag if Doug drowned, Georgia Tech would have uh, Georgia Tech would have been national champs last year. <laughs> oh, you funny. Uh, that's funny. You're, you're you're a regular comedian or something like that. From Chucktown Frank, he says, cocaine cowboys. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Dez is a cowboy. What are you saying, Chucktown Frank, that, that, that Dez and Trump be on that powder? Come on, bro. Don't say that. So Chucktown Frank um, uh, is a Redskins fan. So just consider the source. From J. T double eight, Des may have had a valid reason. I'm sure more will come out about it. Uh, there's no valid reason unless he was at an emergency room. Unless he's got like a doctor's excuse. <laughs> unless he's got a doctor's excuse, which I'm pretty sure that you would have to get all you know doctor's appointments cleared through the team as well. They have their own team of doctors, um, and you have to schedule it out sometime outside of. You know, team commitments. I, I don't. I don't know. The whole thing doesn't make sense. From Rail, the intern Scott. If Doug drowned, hashtag. So wait a minute, y'all got a hashtag? If, De- if Doug drowned, that ain't cool, man. What? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't like the hashtag. If Doug drowned, I don't like that. Uh, there would be no TDSS weekend. You're exactly right. Now that's a positive thing. I'm looking at this chat. Did somebody start a hashtag if Doug drowned for real? It's littered. The chat room is littered with hashtags if Doug drowned. Hashtag if Doug drowned, Clemson or South Carolina would have had five championships already. What? Are y'all saying I'm schlep rock? Whatever, man. That's not nice. From Clay Throw It Back Davis, hashtag if Doug drowned, the glove would have fit on the <laughs> The glove would have fit on OJ and he would have been found guilty. And all of that's if I weren't here on earth, huh? From loose next side, hashtag. If, this is the last one I'm reading of this, man. I, I really don't. 
this ain't something's wrong about this. All right, this isn't cute at all. Y'all trying to be funny. Ha ha. He he he. Hell. Stop with the hashtags of Doug Drown, please. I mean, I'm asking you nicely. It is kind of funny, but it's not funny at all because it's me. And this is a serious, serious conversation. I opened up my heart and my soul to y'all yesterday and something that I've suppressed for, you know, 40 years. And y'all having fun about it? Hashtag of Doug Drown. I would not have heard of the side riding, BPAs, Monk's Corner, Rivers Lounge, and Geechee Talk. That's right. You would have never heard about none of that. From ducking and dodging, hashtag if Doug drowned, uh, he wouldn't have been photoshopped in a Panthers jersey. That would have been a good thing. Somebody photoshopped me in a Carolina Panthers jersey last week. And speaking of which, the Panthers come to ATL this weekend. That might make my funky four conversation later today. From Chef Roll Tide Ivan, Pimp C used to call himself the Black Jack Tripper. <laughs> wow. From Leonard Preacher Slayer, hashtag if Doug drowned. Trump would have served a second term. <laughs> what? Wait a minute now. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about these. From JY3, if Doug drowned, Cap would still be standing for the anthem. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Very funny. Very funny. Well, uh, from Nine O the Rhino, hashtag if Doug drowned, laugh out loud, y'all dead wrong. I agree with you, Nine O the Rhino. From Sensational, hashtag legalize the kitty. I like that better than hashtag if Doug drowned. From Stinger, or Stringer, I'm sorry. He says, hashtag if Doug drowned, the Nootsie would still be undefeated. That's hilarious. Uh, if you're new to the show, uh, my brother used to say this thing about the Nootsie is undefeated. It kind of picked up. Rough buff of Doug Drown. Sway would have had all the answers. Uh, I don't even know who the hell. Sway, you talked about the uh, radio guy, Sway? From Sylvester Williams, if Doug Drown, Texas Tile wouldn't have drove from Texas, and Big Apple Bastard would still have to pay him. Yeah. Pay that man his money, Big Apple Bastard. You freaking Big Apple Bastard. Pay that man his money. Long story short, for new Stewies, um, one of the Stewies owes another Stewie some money, and he don't want to pay. You know, he's high and mighty, all high and mighty every other day, but now he don't want to pay a damn bet. Yeah. Just like that, the one hour of the Doug Stewart Show is already in the books. Just like that. Hey, make sure you go and vote. Make sure you go vote for this week's Ball Penis Award winner. Speaking of um, Stewie's, aggravating Stewie's, Vern from Jersey's the nominee, uh, the New York Jets, Ryan Fitzpatrick, the quarterback, and Todd Bowles in a combination, throwing six interceptions, Todd Bowles allowing him to do it. Donald Trump's nominated just because he's Donald freaking Trump. And Mike Ditka. Oh, punk ass Mike Dicker, take your ass back to Africa, Mike Dicker. I ain't never been to Africa, man. Hour number two of the Doug Stewart Show coming up next. Ever wonder how you can make six figures without an Ivy League education? Have you ever wondered why you're not getting the callbacks for jobs after you've worked so hard to get that degree? Or why your career path isn't going the way you want it? Have you been confused on what major or professional field to choose? Six Figures by 30 provides a five-step career plan and gives tips on best practices for building a strategic resume, negotiating, interviewing, managing salary jumps, avoiding career killers, landing promotions, and much more. This book is designed to be your career compass that will reduce detours and propel you to six-figure success. This book has created the secret sauce your career stew needs to get on the fast track to six figures. In reading this book, expect to develop a clear six-figure career plan, customized for you and your professional field. You'll learn how to develop a standout resume using the proper keywords and phrases in your industry to catch the recruiter's eye. 
You'll also learn ways to navigate salary increases, interview do's and don'ts, managing your brand, navigating job or career changes, and much more.